Hello, ho there champs and welcome to the show. Now today I'm going to be looking at gaming mode that's on the new creators update of Windows and definitely stay tuned I'm going to tell you how to get an extra 20 frames per second legit no joke in there and also if you haven't got the creators update I will leave a link in the video on how to update your computer to install a fresh copy of the Windows creators update. Now first of all let's have a look at gaming mode Oh, have a look at this Man United 2 Chelsea Neil oh was Hazard actually playing? Come on, United. Come on. How good was Rashford? Anyway, gaming mode. Doesn't make a difference. Stuff all. Doesn't make a difference at all. Now, to enable gaming mode, all you do is press Windows I. Go down to where it says gaming. Click on that. And then click on gaming mode. And you can turn on and off. Okay. Doesn't make a difference. No difference whatsoever. Tested a few games. And they benchmarked pretty much identical. There was virtually no difference. I even checked the resources. And if you have a look here, this is gaming mode on. And you can see it's using 8.2 gig. And with gaming mode off, it uses 7.1 gig. So it even uses more RAM when you have gaming mode on. Which Now you can actually turn gaming mode on for individual games. That setting before was just the global setting. If you want to turn it on for an individual game, all you do is press Windows G. Now we'll bring up the gaming bar, there it is, you select the cog there and it says game mode, use game mode for this game. Microsoft claims with Windows Universal Apps you may get a performance increase in the future. Basically what I can say about gaming mode is really it's just trying to divert all your resources just to the game, which it should do anyway. But for me I have a clean system so it's not going to turn off any resources because my system is running very clean anyway. But I can imagine like my nephew, the Bunta from Box Hill, his computers are usually infested with so much apps. They all start when the computer starts up. There's lots of resources being chewed up. And what gaming mode will do for him, it might increase his gaming performance because it will sort of shut those things down, stop him from updating, stop him from using resources and put everything to the game. Maybe in that scenario, it'll help out. But certainly from my test in Battlefield, GTA 5, crisis there was like no difference whatsoever so how do you get an extra 20 frames per second i told you i'll show you how to get an extra 20 frames per second well actually i've been guilty of not turning this set enough before and it does make a big difference if you have geforce experience installed if you have this setting here where is it if you have this share setting enabled it will affect the performance of the game now i actually seen linus's review of the XPS 15 and I was looking at the benchmarks he had for the gaming and they weren't right. They just didn't make sense. Like for example, DSX was like 30 frames per second at high settings. Well, I was getting over 40. And the reason being is just this little button here. You turn that on, it'll take a while to turn on for some reason. But when you turn that on, I was benchmarking, say for example, Battlefield 1, 50 frames per second with it on. I turn that switch off and I'll get 70 frames per second Battlefield 1. No joke, legit. Now on a desktop, it might not make any difference at all, but definitely on a laptop with limited gaming resources, it does make a difference, a huge difference. And even DSX, an extra 10 frames per second I was getting. GTA 5, pretty much the same boost in frames per second I'm getting there. Now, Nvidia should disable this. I don't know why it's enabled. Should be disabled by default. If you've installed the graphics driver yourself and you uncheck GeForce Experience, you won't have this happen to you. But if you've just installed the graphics driver without unchecking GeForce Experience, you're probably going to have it and you want to turn that off, the share feature. So anyway, I hope this video helped you out, guys. Gaming mode does stuff all. But yeah, check out your GeForce Experience, turn off that share feature, and yeah, you're going to get a boost in gaming performance there. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up there. I really appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally ho.